All right, folks, I've got a doozy of a story for you. Okay, on the one hand, we have Lance Armstrong. And you know that Lance Armstrong lied about taking performance-enhancing drugs. He lied about doping. But what you didn't know is that we have Chris Lehane and Mark Fabiani. They call themselves the masters of disaster and working with John Kecker of the famed San Francisco law firm Kecker and Van Haste. Helping... Lance Armstrong over the years craft his fraudulent argument. But they're the same people that have helped Steve Donsiger craft his fraudulent argument against Chevron, accusing Chevron of polluting Ecuador, when in point of fact, Chevron was never in Ecuador. You heard that correctly. Chevron bought Texaco in 2001. Prior to that, Texaco was 30% of a partnership called TexPet, the other 70% roughly, owned by the state of Ecuador through its oil company. When Chevron bought Texaco, Texaco had left, spent $40 million cleaning up its environmental share and left the West to the state of Ecuador, which failed and still continues to fail miserably in managing the environment with thousands of oil spills. He wants to foist the whole problem off on, on uh, Chevron. And Stephen Donsiger seeing an opening and thinking that he could forge the signatures of unsuspecting Ecuador indigenous people to collect billions, jumped right in and started working on this case back in 2003. Wow. He got help and is still represented by John Kecker and Chris Lehane and Mark Fabiani, the same team that helped Lance Armstrong cover up his story. Now, if Lance Armstrong lost his case, it's a fair bet that Steve Donsiger and the Chevron plaintiffs are going to lose theirs very soon as well. You can't lie and win. That's the moral of the story. And you can't turn around and say, hey, look, I can craft my argument. People will buy it. And I'll win regardless because the costs are worth it. Sometimes, indeed most of the time, they're not. Stick around. Oh, and I gotta get that book, Masters of Disaster. <laughs>